Matt joins us now not to talk about the weather, but something else. A successful phone bank for Make-A-Wish. Oh yeah, more than 5 million airline miles stood and an extra 7,000 bucks on top of that. Online totals are still coming in, but along with the phone bank yesterday, a wish is about to come true for a nine-year-old girl named Lilia. In October 2015, doctors found a mass on Lilia's brain. After a 10-hour surgery and a year of treatment, Lilia is now about four months cancer-free. Yesterday, WCCO teamed up with Make-A-Wish to bring Lilia a day filled with surprises. After following clues through the Mall of America, her day ended at Sea Life where she learned that her dream of going to Atlantis in the Bahamas is coming true. She lives in less than two weeks. Her birthday, uh, she'll turn 10 years old, is now less than a week away. So a few days after that, she will head on her trip. This is the fourth year of Wishes in Flight on WCCO. In that time, you've helped us raise more than 40 million airline miles, and we've met a bunch of great kids. Last month, we brought some of them together for a mini Wish Kid reunion. I remember when I was leaving the hotel when I was giving everybody high fives. It was just a ton of fun. It all started with Caleb, the bottomless well of positivity we first met three years ago. It's been completely awesome. It's, it's great. The now 10-year-old has become part of the Make-A-Wish family. Same for Gabe and Molly, who met during our Race for Wishes in 2015. Oh, yeah, there was like SpongeBob and Patrick were like there when we walked in. I just remember that. Since that day, Gabe and Molly's families have become close, forming a bond over shared experience and a common language. Like blood counts during cancer treatment, like a lot of my friends were like, so like, what does that like mean? Like what happens when your white blood counts are low? But then Molly in her case, she was like, oh dang, like, <laughs> that sucks. At times their diseases have set them apart from their peers. But as last year's Wish Kid Vicky points out, that's just temporary. And yet, we're here. We're still living. <laughs> Sitting around a table eating pizza, you see these kids aren't just living, they're thriving. Because of my um, disease, it doesn't mean that darn I'm separated from everybody else. I, something comes good out of it, having a disease. It was life changing for me. So I want to bring these kids together because one of the, the biggest misconceptions about Make-A-Wish is that it's for terminal kids, right? It's like one last wish, but that is so often not the case. Oftentimes, these kids' lives are bolstered by the wish and they go on to live uh, long lives with those wishes that you help grant. We met a pilot yesterday who yeah. got his wish at 14, he's 29 now, mm -hmm. and he is a pilot, that was his yeah. wish. So, uh, really cool, and we just wanna say thank you again. Five million miles, that's gonna go a long way to granting so many wishes for Minnesota. We should let you guys know that Matt is, uh, these aren't just stories that Matt does, Matt is also a board member mm -hmm. of the Make-A-Wish Foundation here in Minnesota. So this is a real passion of yours, and we just thank you for leading yeah, this here at the sure. station and yeah. all of your work. I get way too stressed out, and it means way too much. I take it very, very <laughs> personally, um, but it's it's worth it when uh, you see days like yesterday. Yeah. It's only for a short period of time. Yeah. It's stress? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's fine. I'll sleep That's a very optimistic view, Allie. I like that. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Uh -huh.